And new tonight at 6, two men busted, accused of firebombing an Orange County Planned Parenthood clinic. And one of them is a Marine. KCAL's Jeff Nguyen has details on the suspects and how they were caught. It was a $25,000 reward that led a tipster to point the finger at two men they knew from high school. And tonight we are learning about the evidence that helped to break this case. I'm really pleased that the FBI was able to make these arrests. John Dunn is reacting to a major break that came more than a year after a Planned Parenthood clinic in Costa Mesa was firebombed. On Wednesday morning, the FBI, along with naval investigators, arrested 21-year-old Tibet Ergel of Irvine and 23-year-old Chance Brannon of San Juan Capistrano. We actually had them on video throwing the Molotov cocktail. The president and CEO of Planned Parenthood of Orange and San Bernardino County says clinics have seen an uptick in protests over the past year, but they haven't been violent. After the Supreme Court ruling that overturned Roe v. Wade last year, Planned Parenthood upgraded security and camera systems, which Dunn believes helped with leads in the case. Literally record them getting in their car and driving away, removing their masks, getting their license plate. Security images were featured in a $25,000 reward offer earlier this year. Court documents say even with masks on, a tipster recognized the suspects because the witness was friends with Brandon and Ergel from high school. In addition, the day after the attack, investigators say Ergel texted that person this photo of his gloved hand holding a firebomb from inside Brandon's car. We're deeply appreciative of his efforts. Court papers also say the witness provided investigators with Ergel's and Brandon's numbers. And Brandon's phone location data reflects he was in the vicinity of the Planned Parenthood at the time the arson occurred. We want to send a message to anyone who is contemplating such a thing that um, we're not going to sit passively by and be intimidated. In April, investigators reviewed military records and discovered that Brandon is an active duty Marine assigned to Camp Pendleton. Both men are scheduled to be arraigned on July 24th. In the newsroom, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.